This video is brought to you by Squarespace. If you want to set up a website, there has never been a better time or a better place to do it. Whether it's a passion project or a business, head over to Squarespace and get in the mix. <laughs> Welcome back to TGTV and more specifically ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the countryside and my cottage. Today we've got a video updating you on various developments here at the cottage. You'll see over my shoulder there that has been some extensive renovation work, some development has gone on and there's a big update here today on the channel to go through and we're going to go inside as well because there's loads of bits are going on in there and we've got some stuff booked in next week. So let's get into the video, let's go around the cottage and update you all on what's been going on. So then we'll get into this in a second. We've also, don't know if I actually updated you all last time on which cars are now here, but we've now got the GT3 RS 3.8 and we've got my Testrosa here as well. Very, very cool. And the exciting news is I'll be taking one of these cars to Caffeine Machine this bank holiday Monday, the 2nd of May. That event is on the Roadster app. If you're not already following me on the Roadster app, it is a key, key good. I do loads of meetups, drives, and all sorts on that app, and I do not necessarily even mention any of them on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on there, then you need to be following me on there, and I'll see some of you caffeine machine on Monday. Don't forget to buy your tickets. Also, big shout out to SeaTech. I've got both my cars here running on SeaTechs. I've got SeaTech CS1 there, and we've got SeaTech MXS10. Both of these ready to roll whenever I so wish because of CTEX, CTEX key goods. There's been a lot of Bollard chat as well. These are from guys called Bollard Security Limited. They came and fitted these in. They've actually now got Bluetooth controlled ones called IntelliPost, which I'm going to potentially swap these out for because I can then just uh, drive up and put the post up and down. These are actually gas assisted, uh, but loads of Bollard chat. You lot are actually more interested in Bollards than me, which I actually didn't think was possible because I love a Bollard. Anyway, these two cars are here. Quite a good Cotswolds combo. This is not ULES compliant, so this is staying out here and this is just absolutely brilliant for these roads anyway this is where the main work has happened we're getting a bluetooth control post here as well for when there's cars in the driveway there but you may well remember this farm wall here came the whole way through and there was a horrible little gate here that was useless and we had a big front garden that was of no use in here we had all these paving slabs just all over the floor so what we've done then we've put a farm gate in and this is not finished by the way so you'll notice there's brick wall rubbled up over here. Uh, the finishing's not all done. Around the bottom there, it's not done either. Uh, and we've actually tied these up with zip ties just to make sure the gates don't blow around. So when the gates actually get motorized, which they're going to get motorized next week, I'm gonna get a bollard put in here as well. But I just thought I'd add some va more value to the place because now you will see there is a parking space. And bear in mind, I've actually parked this really badly um, there's quite a little bit of room down this side here and I would normally reverse in the annoying thing is I initially intended to have this post up against the wall here but we actually found some water pipes or something down beneath there which meant that the post had to be over to the left slightly so to tuck it in is a bit more of a faff I can I can reverse it in tuck it against the wall and actually chuck another car here quite easily but that won't be needed for the time being actually what you can do you can stuff one up against the wall there bear in mind this car is actually huge two meters wide get one car there put one car there and you actually fit another one here as well tucked up on this bit here a smaller car once that's cut back so you can actually fit three cars on the drive here if you so wished and the way the land is actually set up here and I can actually put cars in front of the garage as well. So if I so wanted, I could turn this cottage into a car park. But I just think that's opened out the front of the property so much more. I've not really lost any amenity front garden wise because I can still put chairs and a patio and whatever here. That's gonna have a little log store, I think up against that wall potentially and put a little table and chairs there. So we've still got a front garden, but we've just got some added off street parking here as well which just adds a lot of amenity and a lot of value to the house because before I'd be sticking the car in front of the garage and then if I needed to get one of these two out I'd have to move cars around now I can just dump it there shut the gates bollard up and the car's there as well nice and safe so 
Perfect, perfect stuff. One thing you may have seen, very, very cheap, are these little lights off uh, Amazon. I think they're off Amazon, little solar powered LEDs. Uh, these aren't a permanent feature. I'm just kind of teeing up where I want some lighting. I think I'm gonna have a little light there, a little light there, and I'm gonna get, when this gets finished, um, LEDs put in the corner there, in the corner there, one over in the corner there, and maybe another over in the corner there. Um, they're all gonna be wired in properly, but it's just a temporary stand-in. Uh, these are only about a five or so off Amazon. If you just type in uh, solar-powered LEDs, they do actually look quite cool. I've got another one over in the corner here as well, which is covered in plaster or something. Terrible. Loads of brick about here as well. Lovely stuff. Again, all a work in progress. Let's go in then. Big shout out to my Lathams security door here steel security door looks like a normal door but it's actually super super secure you could drive a lorry into that loads of questions about doors as well you lot love doors and i've actually one of my rental properties in london i actually have got a gun cupboard put in one of my rentals as well less said on that the better still post everywhere as we come in then, I just want to say a huge shout out to My Mortgage Pro for sorting out the mortgage on this place and one of my other ones. If you're self-employed, you want to know how much you can borrow, if you've got any mortgage questions whatsoever, reach out to the guys and girls there. They are absolutely mega. For a busy bee like me that's uh, really disorganized and impossible to deal with, they somehow manage to sort it. So they're absolutely fantastic. Get loads of mortgage questions hit My Mortgage Pro, give them a shout. They won't force you into a mortgage, they won't force you into buying anywhere, they'll just offer you some free advice and when you're ready to roll on it, they'll be there to help you through the process. Great, great guys. Inside there, very similar story to last time. However, we've had some deliveries. We've got a new chair. I think I've been buying a lot of stuff from Dunelm. This isn't a sponsor by the way, but Dunelm, if you wanna pay me, holla. Buy a lot of stuff from Dunham. They're actually really, really good. I have no complaints whatsoever about those guys, but it's all getting a little bit more homely. I am going to get someone in to do the decorating and finish off the painting because I empty started over here and then kind of gave up. So that's that. We've got a TV in here now, which is fun. Kitchen's still the kitchen. Coming through though, this is starting to look a little bit more homely in here. It's still a bit of a mess, but what I'm gonna do in here, instead of ripping this thing down, which is just actually was really, really cost ineffective. Instead of ripping it down, I'm actually gonna get the guys that did my windows. So you remember me telling you that I did the windows kind of on the cheap, I didn't replace them, I just got them painted. I'm actually going to get this whole conservatory kind of resealed, redone, uh, any loose bits sorted, all the gutters cleaned out and I'm going to get it painted inside and out. So all this horrible crap is gonna come off, but I've just realized it's really not cost effective um, to rip the whole thing down and go again. It is actually okay, there's a slight leak up there. We're gonna get the guys to paint it all up. I'm probably gonna go for a black color on the outside and the inside as well, or maybe a really dark gray. And then there's going to be painting done in here, maybe some uh, kind of exposed brickwork on the inside here. But all in all, it's not actually that bad in here. I've had to tie these up because Crisps managed to get up on this ledge and was running around like a cat and I didn't want him hanging himself on those cables. So that's going to be done and that's going to cost maybe one, one and a half, two K to get the whole thing renovated and looking like a brand new conservatory, which I think is a better use of money than spending, I quote, for about 30 grand to put a glass box on here, which I'm not gonna do yet. I think it's like putting a thousand pounds worth of baubles on a 10 pound Christmas tree doing that. And this is gonna be renovated in here as well. I put a nice big uh, mirror on the wall there and a bar across there and stock it full of booze. New light fittings as well, which I can't for the life of me work out how to put on. They are there. Rubbish. Come through the kitchen, we've seen that. So we're looking fairly homely. I'm gonna get a cupboard put under there as well. Maybe put some booze in it as well. That is going to be done. And then these beams up here, I'm going to get these painted as part of the renovation in here. Going to get kind of wood grain uh, beams painted in there as well. Because there's a really nice feature actually, those beams. I want to make a thing of them. Keep my shoes on because I'm a prat. Coming up then, a bit of laundry line there. Should have probably sorted this place out first. Uh, this is looking a little bit more homely in here as well. So just going for a little table, little rug down there. Again, not kind of a little bit reticent to replace the carpets just yet. Um, but we've got a little kind of runner on the floor here, just making it a little bit more hard wearing and disguise the fact the carpets in here are actually terrible. Again, more stuff from uh, Dunelm, but I've also been getting a load of stuff from Wayfair. Super cheap, really nice quality. Absolutely no issues with that whatsoever. Bedroom is an absolute mess. I should have probably prepared this before coming in here, but I didn't. 
But yeah, bedroom, nothing else to report, but this really needs decorating still. It's just an absolute mess, really. Stuff needs to go on the wall, and that light fitting as well is horrendous. But what I really like now, is out the window here. That's a whole vibe. I don't know about you, but I love that. It's a tiny little place, but I've got everything I need here. Really, really happy with that. Might go for some like decorations on the wall. Um, I don't know, like the kind of stuff you stick on the wall, like maybe outside mirrors or sort of fake plants stuck on the wall there, and just to turn it into a nice little courtyard vibe, but really, really cool. Coming through then, got the little office room. Don't really know what to tell you about this room other than we've got my nice flexi spot desk there that I covered in my last video. That goes up and down. Nothing really done in here. I should probably remove some of this cardboard. Um, but yeah, this will be kind of an office, edit, little editing room. We need a light shade up there and we need some new curtains outside. When the guys come and do the conservatory, it will look so much nicer out the back there, but they're also gonna tidy up the roof and also put little, kind of little garden bits up there. I might be able to get out there and put potted plants and turn this little garden out the back there. Maybe put something on there, not sure. That's pretty much about it. Bathroom's looking a lot more pleasant as well. It's just looking a lot better in here, really. It's looking a lot more home-like, uh, but no renovation plans with this. And up here, ugh, Christ. We are going to start work up here soon as well. Um, you can see a Velux up there. You can see it's kind of no beams across. That is actually pretty much ready to turn into kind of a cinema room. Ugh. And I've got planning and all the requisite consents to do that. My original plan was to build another staircase up here to go up there. But actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a semi-permanent set of stairs that folds out out of there because I don't really wanna start smashing the house up and spending sort of 50, 60 grand on the house um, when I don't really need to, when actually it just, it's gonna be a relatively cheap job to turn that into a cinema room and a nice folding set of stairs that come down here. Bit of a handrail so the dogs can get up and you know, anyone can go up there. Spare room here, not much else to report. It's uh, awaiting a bed that I need to transport from London, so not much in the way there. That is pretty much the update, ladies and gentlemen. It's all coming along quite nicely, and it's starting to look a lot more home-like, I think you'll agree. I've had loads of great work from the guys at Unicorn Properties Oxford. Um, that's not a freebie, it's not a paid promo, nothing like that. Just some really good guys that have been helping me out with loads of stuff, and they're actually really good because I can just say, I need five different things I need doing from plumbing to landscaping to whatever it is and they just they just sort it which is really really good so I'll leave all the details for everything I mentioned in the description for now I will see you at Caffeine and Machine on the 2nd of May bank holiday 2nd of May I'll see you at Caffeine and Machine make sure you buy your tickets from Caffeine and Machine I'm not going to get cut I don't get cut in on the ticket sales, but you're gonna have to get a ticket if you wanna go there because they don't let you in. Otherwise, there's uh, admin involved. It's 12.30 till 3.30, I think, is the slot. So I'll leave details for that below as well. So make sure you join the Roadster app because more meets will be happening on that and I won't always disclose the location on the internet other than the Roadster app. So make sure you join up with them. And again, if you want any mortgage advice, hit up My Mortgage Pro because they sort the mortgage on this, they sort the mortgage on another place, and they're really, really good eggs. And especially if you're self-employed, they'll give you an idea of how much you can borrow off the bat, and there's no faff with them. They're really, really good guys. For now, hopefully you enjoyed this very rushed update here at the cottage. I'm heading back to London, got some stuff to film, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye! We're back in my front room, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. For those of you wanting to set up an online business or a passion project, there really is no better place than Squarespace to get going. It's got loads of features to make your path to that beautiful website as easy as possible. And there is a discount code coming exclusively to you guys at the end of my little explanation here, a little showcase of what Squarespace can do. Drawing on my personal experience here, many of you will know that I've got a load of online uh, endeavors. Uh, so Squarespace has a subscription model first and foremost that you can build into your website very very easy subscriptions are extremely key to build value in your business and in your website not only that but you can run email campaigns as well email campaigns are extremely important in e-commerce that means you can market it to existing customers or indeed anyone that you have their data on very very important and key way to market to people you can also do cool stuff like link up your social media to it so when you post on one of your social platforms it goes straight through onto your website and you can also backload content on there as well so if you're a busy busy bee one day um, you don't have to do anything but you can actually time release content on there that you've backlogged at a previous day. Very useful for people that are constantly on the go. 
It also takes the stress out of optimizing your website for mobiles. As you know, most people view websites on mobiles these days and Squarespace takes the hassle out of that and automatically converts it into a mobile friendly format and also desktop friendly format. Very, very important. And the final thing I want to talk to you about is the SEO side of things. Squarespace websites come with a built in tool that means you can maximize your search results. SEO is really, really important if you're running an online business as well. So that's really, really key. Now the important thing, head over to squarespace.com forward slash TGTV to get a free trial. And when you're ready to go, get 10% off your first order. That is limited to you guys and you guys only. So get in the mix. And as always, please do keep in touch with your online endeavors. I want to see them. Now,